What's up guys? This is Adit from Tech is Easy. And today I have with me the Shio MV7 microphone. So I recently bought this over my old one. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing it and then reviewing it. So I'll have a sound test. I'll give you the reasons why I bought this one and not others. And honestly, I'm not an audio expert or anything, but I've done quite a lot of research over the last couple of weeks. And I'll give you all the reasons why I bought this one and whether I think it's worth it or not. So this mic has become really popular in the last couple of years. And this is like the younger brother, the Shure SM7B. And that is a mic used in the industry. It's more expensive. And I'm sure you would have seen a lot of podcasters, YouTubers using it. Like in the Joe Rogan podcast, or a lot of songs also recorded using that. So overall, the Shure MV7, it comes with a lot of features. And let's move straight into the unboxing and test it out. So now over here, I have the box and let's open it. So on the front, you'll just see the picture and the name. And behind, you'll find all of the features. And there's also some more information at the back. So now I'll quickly open it. So first inside the box, there's just some paperwork. So this is the manual and the warranty card. After that, they've given two cables. So the first one is micro USB to USB. And the second one is type C to micro USB. And now let's see the mic. So this is the mic. It has a matte black finish, a metal body, and overall it looks really good. So as you can see, I have the mic with me over here and I'll talk about the design and build quality. So one thing which I love is the first thing that you see, which is the matte black finish. It just looks really good. And with the metal body, which is really sturdy, I really love the design. After that, at the bottom, there are three ports. One is USB, the other is the XLR port, and the third is the aux. After that, on the side, it has a touch panel which has quite a few controls. So first, you can control the volume, then you can mute the mic or lock the settings using this. And one thing I like about the touch panel as compared to other microphones like the Blue Yeti is that let's say I want to mute my mic, on the Blue Yeti, when you press the button, there's a sound. But here, if I mute it, no sound gets recorded. So this is pretty much about the design and build quality. And now I'll talk about the features of this mic. So the first thing is the ease of use. So since this is USB and XLR, the USB makes it much easier to just plug it in your laptop and start recording. There's no trouble, there's no waste of time. You can just start recording immediately. And another advantage is the XLR port, because if you ever want to upgrade your entire recording system, go to a studio or something, then having an XLR port in this saves you the money of buying another microphone at that time. Then the next thing which I really like is the Shure Motive app. So this is an app which you can download on your PC. And this is perfect for people who don't know much about audio because they have an auto setting which will do all the work for you or someone who really wants to change the audio in the mic. So in the manual settings, they have a lot of options. You can change the mic gain or the EQ but personally, I don't understand that much, so I just leave it in auto. But still, they have a lot of options in that. So they have different things, like how far you want to keep the mic. They have two options, which are near or far. So this will be near. After that, you can decide the tone of the voice. If you want it dark, natural, or bright, they have all these three options. The next point is this being a dynamic microphone with voice isolation technology. And I got to know the key differences between dynamic and condenser microphones. So basically, condenser microphones, they pick up a lot more noise. So they're a lot more sensitive to small noises. So if you're recording in an untreated room, like this one over here, I mean, there's a lot of car noises or birds chirping, 
and all of that gets recorded in a condenser microphone. Whereas a dynamic microphone, it's a lot less sensitive. So you have to talk louder in the mic. That's why I've kept it so close. So this wouldn't have worked in a condenser microphone. So basically, because of this, it won't pick up the background noise. And this makes the quality of the sound much better. Now talking about the voice isolation technology, this passively removes the background noise without using power. So how it works is that it has a directional pickup pattern and this helps to remove the background noise and focus on the sound source which is in front of the microphone. So I think the best way to see the difference is if I compare this mic to my old condenser mic and I'll also compare it to the camera raw audio. So this audio is being recorded by my camera. Now this one is being recorded by the Shure MV7 and this is being recorded by my condenser microphone. When I spoke through this, all the background noise dropped and the voice was a lot more clearer. So basically, if you have an untreated room, if you don't have a studio, then your dynamic microphone is much better for you. But if you do have a studio, then you can go with a condenser mic because there won't be that much background noise which will be recorded. So regarding the sound quality, I think it's right up there and it really justifies this price because the audio is crisp, there's no background noise, which is exactly what you want. So now, I'll give a quick summary about this mic, whether it's worth it or not, and who should buy it. So firstly, it's versatile. It has USB and XLR. So if you ever want to upgrade your system, then this mic is perfect for that, and it gives you that flexibility, which other mics don't. Then the sound quality, it's right up there, like I mentioned, and it also has a lot of features, which I really think add to this mic. So overall, I feel if this is your first time buying a mic, then I won't suggest this unless your budget allows you. Because personally, I used this mic for a couple of years, and then I realized the need to upgrade, after which I got this mic. So I was considering this or the Blue Yeti, which is cheaper, but this having amazing sound quality, being a dynamic mic, and also having the XLR output really pushed me towards this mic. So I hope this video helped you. And if you have any questions, I'll answer them down in the comments. That's it for today. Goodbye.